Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you how your crankcase breather works or also known as oil separator this thing, as you can see this one from here is for bulbos the one on the left or with the green color this one in here is for DD13 or DD15 engines okay this one does not work on series 60 engines but also it comes with it but it's another it's other design so as you can see this one is completely assembly all right it has the aluminum part on it and all this is attached together this one is we already take it take it off apart we took it off apart to see what happened to it as you can see right in this one let me open it for you all right so give me a minute and look look how this thing is from inside this is like a type of sludge right look mm. look this thing look I'm sorry look this thing this is the slug the sludge done by the engine but what does this mean I saw look inside this thing look how dirty is it okay what does this mean probably this engine has been do going like this for long periods of time without the proper pm all right why do i mean with a proper pm a pm that is done before thirty thousand miles some people say oh my oil can last up to fifty thousand sixty thousand and i have even seventy thousand miles but as, as far as i can see every time people do that even if it's a, it's a brand new engine these type of things happens for example our engine who it has like half million miles already we already changed this thing because of this because it it, it loads the crankcase breeder with a lot of sludge on, around because the carbon there goes around you see here and when this happens the breeder itself from the outlet part starts leaking oil and it stops spinning right and people start asking why my truck is leaking oil and that could be one of the reasons in the Volvo engines usually there is another leak that comes from here that it's from this side but it's from the engine side where the gasket sits so sometimes it leaks from the gasket itself but this is another reason why your truck can be leaking oil all right so if you have an oil leak i recommend you to check your can is with it because that can happen as you can see in the fry liners this hole in here is for the oil pressure oil goes in there and the oil hit these small caps in here and make a spin like this and this thing is spin spin and the oil that is trapping here goes around and go down again to the engine on this side and on this side and it comes down back to the oil pan. so every time right this thing gets clogged right and this part in here is the one that starts leaking oil especially on Freightliners I have seen after 100,000 miles this thing is like somehow wet with oil right so that means probably the crankcase builder start showing signs that it's not working properly which is really common on Freightliners, I don't know why because maybe these parts are really cheap okay and sometimes there is the, the sometimes the check engine light comes on and there is a sensor here on the top that measures the speed of the crankcase and the check engine light comes on when the crankcase breeder speed is too low okay so if that's the case the only thing you need to do is replace the whole thing right in Freightliners, I never seen a kit to replace just the upper part 
just this, pla this this is the plastic part that I always messed up it's really rare to see this part is broken okay so if you can get this part you can replace it yourself you just need to remove the bolts in here bolts in here and the other bolt in here there are three bolts one two three okay with a 10 wrench you have to remove it you open it it should come with this gasket in here there is a gasket that comes out in here you just open it you clean this nicely right and you put the new gasket you put the brand new part that you have and that's it you can assemble it you just need the gasket from here and you're good to go all right the same case for volvo same thing and volvos i have seen the kit it comes with two o-rings that goes in the outlet part right it comes with the bigger o-rings this bigger o-ring in here all right and comes i think it comes with the other gasket the other outer gasket the, the gasket that that's in the engine side so if you have any questions let me know down below okay and i'm gonna try to answer and i hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one thank you bye